Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to this quick overview of all the fish and bug information you need for the month of April in Animal Crossing New Horizons. We're not going to be covering every single fish or bug available, uh, we're going to be taking a look at the stuff that is leaving in April, so your last chance to get hold of them, and all the new stuff that's turned up in April as well, and we are talking about the Northern Hemisphere here. So first of all, it's your last chance to get hold of the following three fish. The Blue Marlin, uh, which currently appears all day from the pier and is worth a whopping 10 grand. Also the dab that's also available all day from any point of the ocean. I'm sure you've got plenty of them by now. And the tuna as well, also from the pier all day for 7,000. And the only bug we're losing, unfortunately, is the tarantula. So we're going to have to come up with proper ways of making money. You can catch one of those from 7pm until 4 in the morning uh, anywhere on clear ground and they sell for a whopping 8,000 bells. So make sure you've got all of those before the end of April. Uh, but lots of new things coming in. We have 10 new fish coming in in April and 10 new bugs as well. Loads of new stuff to go out and catch. We're going to go through them alphabetically and mention anything specific you need to know for them. First off in the fish category, the butterfly fish is available all day from the ocean. They sell for a thousand bells. Relatively simple catch this one as is the clownfish quite a small one also found in the ocean all day and they sell for around about 650 bells next up is the crawfish or the crayfish or the crawdads whatever you want to call it uh, is uh, found all day in ponds it sells for a measly 200 bells and uh, next up you've got the guppy a small shadow 9am till 4pm in rivers sells for 1300 uh, bells this one worth worth catching these to be honest it's quite an easy catch for a decent amount of bells another small one the killifish uh, these ones are found in ponds though all day they sell for 200 another river fish with the neon tetra from 9am till 4pm you're going to be able to catch those ones in rivers 500 bells those sell for the adorable seahorse is joining the roster in April. You can fish them up all day from the ocean and they sell for 1100 bells. The only one I haven't managed to get hold of, so I can't show you it being uh, fished up, the snapping turtle uh, is a nighttime fish, 9 p.m. till 4 a.m. They can be found in rivers. They're a large uh, shadow and they sell for 5,000. And I can only assume they're rare because I spent about four hours looking for one before recording this video. You found Nemo with the clownfish. It's time to find Dory with the surgeon fish. These can be fished up all day from the ocean and sell for a pretty decent thousand bells. And finally, the zebra turkey fish or the lionfish, I would probably call it, uh, again can be found all day in the ocean. 500 uh, bells on that one. So overall, they're all pretty easy catches. I think the only one you're really going to struggle with there, like I say, is the snapping turtle. But I don't think anything you're going to be able to really farm up there. Uh, maybe if you can find a river island in the Nook Miles, you might be able to get the snapping turtles to spawn a bit more often. But uh, yeah, nothing nothing crazy like you're going to be able to farm like you would be, uh, say, the, the, uh, the surgeon fish from last month. Moving on to bugs. Again, loads of new bugs. Pretty much a complete new set of bugs flying around uh, on your islands, which is pretty exciting. The Agrius butterfly, pretty tricky to get these ones, uh, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Just a regular flying butterfly, they'll just be flying around your island, but man, they are quick. Um, they are really quite speedy. They like to land on flowers as well, so that's maybe where you'll find them, but these ones move. Uh, it took me a couple of goes to get my first one of these. They sell for 3,000 bells. The Atlas Moth is the first tree trunk bug we've had in the game, meaning they will just be sitting on the trunk of a regular tree. Uh, you can find them over the night time, 7 p.m till 4 a.m. And, uh, and like I said, they'll just be sitting there on the tree, just creep over, pretty sensitive, so make sure you creep in with the uh, holding down the A button there. And again, this is pretty decent catch. They sell for 3,000 bells, worth stopping. Probably not worth farming, but definitely worth stopping if you have uh, if you see one on your travels. 3,000 bells for one of those. The Carmen Blue Bottle is going to be one of the ones you're going to be fed up of seeing. They are everywhere, and they're available all day, 4 a.m. till 7 p.m., flying all over the place. They sell for 300 bells. Get one, throw them to blathers, and ignore them for the rest of the months. And the same with the Dana dragonflies again. 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Again, they'll be flying around. It's a bit tricky to catch because they move. Uh, they sort of dart around movements, and they sell for 230 
bells. Next up, an interesting one, the flea. Uh, they can be found all day, uh, but you might struggle to find these ones straight away. They're going to be found on your villagers. Uh, your villagers have got a chance of becoming flea infested. Um, it happens relatively regularly. Uh, on the first day of really looking for these bugs today, uh, I found two villagers with them through the day, uh, and you're just a case of going over to them, standing behind the villager and tapping A so the net comes down on top of them. They'll thank you for it. You can tell uh, that it's a flea. They'll have little black dots jumping over them and also when you talk to them they'll say things about be feeling itchy or feeling awkward things like that uh, they're not worth anything though they sell for 70 so again once you've kind of got them off of them just throw them away or flog them for cheap i suppose the giant water bug is the bane of our existence because these things are making tarantula islands very difficult to spawn now unfortunately uh, they're around the same time as tarantulas 7 p.m till 8 a.m you'll find them in rivers and ponds they do sell for 2000 um bells i guess which isn't awful uh, but yeah unfortunately they are filling up the spawn table for those tarantulas um these will scoot around the water but eventually they will settle on the river banks that's your easiest place to catch them just wait for them to chill out find where they are and grab them the jewel beetle will turn up on tree stumps i always recommend having a little spot somewhere for some tree stumps um, just for these odd little spawns they can spawn all day but they do have quite a rare spawn rate you're going to be finding citrus beetles a lot more regularly than you're going to get in the uh, the jewel beetles they do sell for 2400 bells though so worth picking up if you see one on your travels the long locust again another one you're going to get fed up of seeing they're all over the place 8 a.m till 7 p.m they're just crawling around on the ground, jumping around on the ground. They sell for 200 bells. Uh, an easy pickup for the uh, for the museum, but after that, you can pretty much ignore them. And then another couple of butterflies through the daytime that are worth picking up if you see them. The Madagascan Sunset Moth from 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. will be just flying around. They sell for 2,500 bells. And finally, the Raja Brooks Birdwing from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. also flying around for 2,500 bells. So the name of the game in April, if you see a butterfly, grab it. It's worth a couple of thousand bells at least. Pretty much everything else, once you've got one for the museum you can pretty much ignore them and unfortunately doesn't seem to be any interesting fish or bug spawns that we're going to be able to farm for uh, bells unfortunately so uh, just get them as you can and, and to be fair you're going to be spending most of your time dealing with eggs for the next couple of weeks anyway aren't you <laughs> There you go. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know if you have. Uh, I'll definitely look at doing one of these each month. Uh, if you want me to tweak them for the months in the future, let me know as well. Comments, uh, suggestions and queries all down in the comments would be fantastic. If you're new here, we stream Animal Crossing every single day at 1pm Eastern Time and we have these little tips and hints videos go out uh, whenever I get around to making one. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, be good.